Welcome to the Plant Food Federation, the place where plants and plates collide. I'm Ak Young, and if you are new to this channel, you are welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. On this channel, we have conversations about plant-based eating, and I share recipes that you can make on your own at home in your kitchen. Now, before we jump into today's video, I have some exciting news to share. One of the questions that I get asked on a regular basis is, how do I start eating plant-based? And my response to that question is normally, start as, next, as soon as your next food choice and as, as soon as your next plate of food. You know, push to the side or completely push off those animal products, those highly refined, highly processed products, and fill your plate with whole and healthy fruits, vegetables, leafy greens, legumes, nuts, and seeds. That should be the bulk of what you find on your plate. So, I'm excited to announce that I have written a free ebook called The Plant Based Day. And The Plant Based Day is a full menu of plant based recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and a snack. Because, yes, you're going to want a snack during the course of the day, and you may as well make those snacks count. I will leave the link to the ebook down in the description box below, or you can head over to plantfoodfederation.com to download it from the website directly. I have also included a shopping list for you to help set you up for a day of success. Now, when I was transitioning to um, plant-based eating and transitioning to becoming vegan, one of the things that worked for me was picking a day of the week to just eat completely whole foods, plant-based, you know, whether it's a meatless Monday or a free from Friday. And so I encourage you to do the same. And even if you don't do it 100% full time, you know, try it for a day or two here, here or there and let me know how it goes. Now, now, today's recipe video is based on the dinner um, recommendation in the ebook, and it is a bell pepper stir fry accompanied by. Um, wild rice, black beans, and baked plantain. Now, I live in Nigeria, we love our rice, we love our beans, we love our plantain, and we definitely love our pepper. Don't play with the pepper. Um, so I've taken these ingredients and I have created a Buddha bowl, um, a comforting dish that you can enjoy as dinner or as lunch, actually, um, if you decide. So before we jump into the kitchen, remember to hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the notification button next to it, that way we can stay connected and you can get an alert each time a new video goes up on this channel. So without much ado, let's head over to the kitchen and get to the cooking. I love Buddha bowls because you can bring different ingredients together in a plate and you have a full meal and you can use whatever you have available to you. Now for this Buddha bowl, I wanted to make sure it had a lot of flavor. So obviously I've got a lot of spices. I wanted to use wild rice and black beans, some fresh basil picked from my garden and peppers, lots of different peppers. Now I'm going to start by soaking my beans. I normally soak my beans for eight hours at least, so I soak them overnight. This allows the enzyme that coats them um, to be dissolved. And if you ever have problems with bloatedness or gas when you eat beans, definitely soak your beans. So once they've been soaked, I'm going to put them in a pan with some garlic, some shallots and some salt. And I'm just going to add water to this and just cook them for about 30 to 40 minutes until they're tender. Now the next thing is just to chop the peppers. There are a lot of, there's a lot of chopping in this recipe. So I'm going to chop up all my peppers. I decided to use sort of a variety of color of bell peppers just to make this dish really vibrant in terms of color. Now look at that rainbow. I'm also going to chop up um, red Thai chili. This one was in the freezer, so it's a bit soft, but you know the flavor is still there. I'm also chopping up the green chili as well, again for color and diversity in flavor. I'm also chopping up my habanero and scotch bonnets with a fork because I always end up touching my face. Next up is the onion, so you want to um, peel and um, slice the onion. Try to make the slices quite fine um, and as even as possible. 
Then I'm going to crush some garlic. Um, I really love garlic, so I ended up using about four cloves of garlic for this particular dish, but you know, you can use as much or as little garlic as you prefer. Next up is fresh ginger. I'm going to grate about a teaspoon of fresh ginger for this dish. Um, so that's about all I'll need. I'm going to pick um, the basil leaves and then clean them. And all I'm going to do with these is rough chop them. So just chop them up roughly because you don't want them to be chopped too fine. Now let's move on to the plantain. I have peeled this and I'm just going to cut it on a bias into even slices or as even as possible. I'm going to put these in a bowl and I'm going to season it with just salt. Once I've coated the plantains with salt, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil and continue to coat them. I probably could have used a little bit of less oil. The next thing I'm going to do is just to lay them out on a parchment lined baking pan. Make sure that they are well spaced and that they lie flat. Once you're done, you want to pop the baking tray in a preheated oven at 180 degrees and you want to bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's get to the stir fry. So first up, you wanna heat your avocado oil, add in your onions and you wanna sweat the onions for a few seconds. Then you want to add in your garlic and your ginger and continue to stir these in the pan just to make sure that they don't stick or start to burn. Next up, you want to add your hot peppers, so your habaneros, your scotch bonnets and your chili peppers. Now you can use as many hot peppers as you want or you can just skip them all together if you cannot handle the heat. But they all bring a different dimension of flavour and you want to make sure that these cook through because you definitely don't want to bite into a raw hot pepper. After a few seconds, you want to add in the rest of your bell peppers. Just look at the color of these. I just really love the color of this dish already. So you want to make sure that you mix everything together and continue to stir just to make sure the ingredients you added first don't burn. You want to lower the heat a little bit and then you're going to start to add in your spices. So first up is the coconut aminos or tamari if you use soy products. Then I'm going to add in some salt I'm then gonna add in smoked paprika. I'm then adding in the cumin, and cumin really brings some depth of flavor. And then I'm adding in my sweetener, and I'm using coconut nectar for this, and you can use any natural sweetener. I'm adding in some black pepper, yes, more pepper, and I'm just gonna stir these all together um, before adding in the basil leaves. And you wanna add the basil in at the very end. And that's it, this is our bell pepper stir fry. Look at how amazing this is in the pan. So let's go ahead and plate this Buddha bowl. So first of all, I'm going to add the mixed wild rice. I just cooked it according to instructions. I'm then adding the black beans, which are now cooked through, so they are tender. I'm adding our bell pepper stir fry. Now, I really love this stir fry. There are so many other things you can do with it. You could add it to a wrap, for example. I'm adding the baked plantain. Now, I almost forgot the plantains in the oven, but they still turned out pretty well. I'm going to add some fresh chopped avocado to the dish to sort of really balance out the flavors, especially the heat. And I'm going to add some fresh coriander leaves or cilantro leaves on top. And there you have it. This is our Nigerian inspired Buddha bowl. I also made a quick crema to tie this together. I forgot to film it, so I'll leave the recipe for it in the description box below. If you liked this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. You can find the 
recipe in my free ebook on the website. Remember to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.